All right, it's a nice chilly morning. Got my cutting edge put back on there. So now I have a matching set. And I got one big oak tree over here to take down that one right there. It's completely hollow when I went to break a branch off of it yesterday. The, uh, the whole tree about fell over. And uh, so needless to say, it's about one good breeze away from falling over. We're gonna go take that down, get that on the burn pile, and that will be all of the clearing and pretty much all of the burning. I'll restack that and let it burn today. And we're going to start working on the pond later on. Let's get this clearing done. As you can see, this tree is about one good wind from falling over. It's a little rotten right there. There's not a lot left of a uh, tree left holding it up. I'm gonna try to see if I can't break this one branch off over here and push it back that way because I don't need it falling over here. Hopefully it won't fall over with just snapping this branch off. But it may. Let's see. Is it going to hold up? Barely. Okay. Now I'm afraid to push on it. Or pull on that. Let's see if I can just kind of push that out of the way and just knock it over. I don't want to end up with a tree on top of me. I really need this branch pushed out of the way though. this way but it's about to fall over the other way well fix that I need to break that branch off so I can dig beside it and not rip my hydraulic lines off but if I the way the tree is so rotten it'll uh, fall over on me this way I don't want the tree to fall back this way because it will fall in an area that I don't have to don't need to be tearing up I guess this will just help me get the stump up. Go. 
that might blow their, their, their lens. Already got excited and forgot about dead branches in the top. about done with the fire now he wants to go up here and knock some more trees down oh well still got some more stuff to burn it's a good day today that's actually one of those the uh, outhouse even though it really does look like one but I uh, got this area cleared and I wanted to clear back a little bit farther and the neighbor wanted me to start clearing that fence or that ditch line 
So I cleared that, or got started on it. And the main thing you want to cleared was up here. I gotta go get the dump truck. But there's a ditch that runs from over there to here that somebody dug a long time ago. And it goes uphill and it doesn't drain, he says. So we may just fill it in. He says during a big flood, the water from that creek there will actually backflow up in this ditch and flow back. But you can see it goes uphill. They had good intentions, they just didn't dig it deep enough there. But there was, it just looked like some bushes. It didn't look like it would take long, but there was, ended up being about probably eight or nine truckloads of stuff come off this little corner. It was hard to see. It was all grown up in briars and bushes, but it was about mm, 10 or 15 stumps that size. <laughs> That's a three foot tree there. It was it took me a while, but I got that cleaned up and all the stuff hauled to the burn pile while it's still burning. Figured it would be a good time to go ahead and, and do that. But yeah, all of this corner right here was just completely overgrown and just cleaned it up and left those two little magnolia trees you can't really see with the sun the sun's horrible this time of year I'm gonna get behind that tree but I got this edge all cleaned up and just kind of tracked it in they can drag over with the tractor and plant some grass let's go take the truck back and call it a day I got in the mud a little deep there one time Do, 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 do. Somebody asked me how many hours were on this thing. Um, I don't know. It's a good question. If I can figure out how to get to it. Let's see. I don't know. Push enough buttons, something will happen. I don't know, I thought there was an hour meter. It'll show when you cut it off. Uh, we ain't got enough air built up yet. It leaks down pretty good. But quickly. There we go. We got some PSI now. skipping again. You can cut it off and cut it back on. It'll run just fine and dandy. Oof, oof, oof. Alright, well I'll go park this thing and we'll call it a day and come back tomorrow and start moving a little dirt. Let's see how many hours we're on this thing. It'll cool off. Almost 12,000, 11,755. I don't remember what was on it, I think 10,000. Put a few hours on it. Well, there's a lot of rain on the way. I'm gonna come down here again today. I thought I was done burning yesterday, but they wanted to clear some more, so we cleared some more. Now I've got some brush piled up here, and I didn't want to throw it on the fire before we left yesterday because the wind was blowing pretty good, and as you can tell, the, the fire's in about the middle of the woods. 
surrounded by trees on three sides so I figured it'd be a smart idea to wait and uh, burn today as it starts raining so I've got to finish uh, get all this stacked on the fire and I've got to clear there's a little tree line you can see those piles right there but I got to finish clearing down there um, this morning we'll go ahead and get that put on the fire and burn up and then we'll go back over there to the pond and dig a little bit more on that so let me get this stacked up and uh, we'll do us a little bit more clearing so I'm working on getting everything piled up this morning that was dumped out from yesterday this is all that brush we yanked down along that uh, area up there that I showed you is that going to work right there? I think that will. Just getting all that piled up on here so it'll start catching on fire while I'm clearing the rest of that stuff. And it'll open up a spot for him to be able to dump everything at. Still keep it within reach of the fire so I don't have to grab it and track. But also just clearing this stuff yesterday as you can imagine it's probably pretty green and wet and it doesn't want to burn. I reached around in there and stirred up the fire some so I think uh, I think enough of those hot embers will dry it out. Luckily most of this stuff is like fine small little sapling so it should should take off I would think. Yeah, it looks like it is over there. I see kind of a heat wave. See how the smoke's just kind of like slowly billowing right here? Well, if it's like really shooting up in the sky, it means there's some heat behind it. So I'll put some of this smaller stuff over there and maybe it'll catch up into it. But I did want to say thank you for everybody that did order your hoodies and jackets last night. I've got, uh, I about sold out of <laughs> everything that I had, uh, uh, I wouldn't say sold out, but I probably sold at least half of the stuff that I had made to get inventory back up. So I'll work on it this weekend, trying to get some more stuff put back. It's just like I was explaining in the video. It, this summer has taken a toll on me. It was uh, probably the busiest summer on record as far as keeping uh, all the work I had going on, projects, other stuff I was doing. It was just, my free time was zero. I think I had, uh, over the whole summer, I think I had about two days. <laughs> And seriously, out of about four months, I think I had about two days to myself to uh, pretty much catch up on everything I couldn't do during the week. So it was, it was insanely busy, but also it was a very successful year um, for everything. So it's uh, good for everything, but the uh, shirts and everything, as I mentioned, did fall on the back burner because it's very time consuming. I like to do, try to do everything myself. I think it adds a little personal touch there to it, but it is time consuming and free time was just not available. Therefore, I went about six months and didn't have a whole lot of stuff. So. But no fear, winter is here and I tend to have a little bit more free time since it gets dark at five o'clock. So I plan on working on those over the next month and I'm gonna have some new sizes come in. Um, just because I have, I don't know if they'll sell, but people say that I need bigger sizes and smaller sizes. So I ordered about 500 more shirts last night and we will just, Hope that they sell, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna have some kid sizes, and I'm gonna have regular sizes, and big sizes, and even bigger, bigger sizes. So, uh, I did have to stop at 5X. That's, uh, that's where I stopped. Alright, well, I 
I think this is going to catch up. I'm going to lay a couple more of these stumps along the edge. And once the fire gets burning, I'll come back and chunk those up there in the center. I don't want to smother down with a bunch of muddy wet stumps right now. And it'll give me time to go up there and finish clearing that area up there. We'll be back. All right, so I got a load of brush, and he's going to go dump that. And um, onto the fire, you can see the uh, window's got a little tint to it there. Smoking pretty good. It's about to catch up. What I'm working on up here is this old ditch line that... I just dug with a back cover or whatever and just a straight down trench and piled all the dirt up in random piles all the way down so let me lower the boot down so I don't knock any branches out of the tree on top of me oh that's happened before um I'm on my mom so uh, it's been very hard to maintain and therefore it's all overgrown in trees I got to go here all the way down finish that but I'm gonna load out this stuff right here the and then we'll probably end up regrading this ditch and just making it a lot easier to mow and maintain working on taking some of these trees down now on this ditch Hill is 
if you fall in a ditch around here. That's the only way you're going to have to go uphill is to get out. <laughs> I'll work on these and then let him run down this edge with the dozer and just shape it up. Get everything cleaned up. Stack the fire up. Look at that. Hardly no dirt left on that stump. I ain't even dropped it. I could get used to this. All right, let me get this cleaned up. We'll go stack it on the fire and go move it over there. All right, everything is now over here at the burn pile. I'm gonna throw it on here real quick. And I'm not falling to the fire, hopefully. It'll all get burnt up today. And it'll probably be a little while before we come back. Probably the well, I don't know. It might be the first of the year we got to uh, knock out a couple more jobs that are pretty important to get done by the end of the year. Uh, I think you'll like those. Those are some dredging jobs. A lot of mud. Everybody likes the mud. This pile Got everything grubbed on the ditch here. It's not pretty, but all the big stuff's cleaned out. What we'll end up doing is running the dozer down here and cleaning all that little stuff up. There's no need to sit there and spend a half a day trying to rake all those little sticks and everything out. We'll regrade it with the dozer and push up a couple loads, and I'll just go haul it with all the junk back there in the back and get rid of that so all the trees are gone we'll grade this out make a nice little swell out of it so it'll be easy to maintain and spread out all the dirt from when they dug the ditch they just piled it all up there on the side and made a mess well that should burn down pretty good it's getting nice and hot making a little smoke but it'll clear up here in about five minutes and that'll disappear while I go dig a little dirt.